don't have any preference as long as I meet somebody that I vibe with that loves me and has everything I'm good to go but number one we like somebody that we can relate with like I joke with you I give you a sign you know what I'm talking about a lot of black Americans cannot relate to us because of different backgrounds which is understandable but two and the most important thing main thing is that us african girls were we're used to being taken care of by our men like the men do everything they take care of us we don't have to worry about money but a lot of black americans feel that we have to go 50 50 on things like the woman and men has to share equally but that's not what we're brought up we weren't raised like that so we're not used to that lifestyle so we have to go for people who understand how things work here sorry I she's not wrong at all. A thousand percent. Yeah, I think <laughs> all black or the majority of black men feel like they sh they would want to go fifty fifty with a woman. Like, yeah, yeah, a lot of them. Yeah. A lot of them, mm -hmm. and it's like for me personally, my parents, my dad has always like paid for everything. Like exactly. my mom pays yeah. for everything. Mm. So it's like I kind of want the same. Like obviously, I'll still put up and stuff, but like, <laughs> yeah, but do you feel like um, I'm pretty sure. I think a lot of times when we have that conversation about fifty fifty, mm -hmm. it's because the our women are much more in, in the west in the west i guess or in america they're much more independent i don't need a man so they don't develop certain traits to mm -hmm. maintain a healthy sustainable relationship pretty sure your mom has the qualities that your father looked for in a woman because mm -hmm. you know she's more submissive cooperative friendly fit whatever the case is we don't necessarily tend to see that sometimes with american black women or just women in general in america because they're so I don't need a man, this, that, and a third. So a lot of guys are looking at it. Well, if you don't need me, why am I providing a lifestyle for you? And you don't even know how to really take, you never seen a man in your household to know how to treat him, number one. Like, so it's like a little missing dynamic there. I do kind of understand where she's coming from. But again, we don't necessarily get the luxury of having women that were raised to be like um, submissive to a man or even know how to treat a man, like, and things of that nature. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I feel like y'all carry those um, traditional qualities as a woman. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, okay, see? I mean, I feel like being submissive has to go with, like, also how the man acts. Like, you're not going to mm -hmm. be submissive to somebody who doesn't act right. Exactly. So. I, see, I hate, he I hate hearing that term because <laughs> it's that selective submission and selective femininity that y'all would not allow <laughs> if a man said the things vice versa. If a man said, I can only act masculine to a woman that's submissive, y'all would not tolerate that. True or false? True. Imagine y'all on a date, like... Oh, and he like, yo, I can only be a masculine to a woman that knows how to be feminine. Y'all gonna look at him like, what? You should, you a man, you should <laughs> right, only right, be yeah. your masculinity. Mm -hmm. So why do we have to tolerate selective femininity? Like, mm. I <laughs> think that's a little yeah. yeah, I think it's selective femininity. Yeah. I think it's the submissive part. Yeah, that's what it's I think so, that so it is. So if a guy said, I can only be a provider if you know how to be feminine. I mean, it's not even about being feminine, though. It's about acting right. Yeah. Like, he's going to provide right. if you act All right. right. Quick question. Right. Do you think your mothers, would your fathers be with your mothers if they didn't submit? I mean, Especially being from Africa. I mean, I think we could all say our mom. I don't know how to say it. Yeah. Like, I want to give all the praises and the honor to Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shah Bahashem, Recha Ha Kwadash, and double honors to the elder apostles and the elder bishops of Great Millstone. Also, a sincere shalom to you other elders, brethren, followers of the truth, even you few sisters, and shalom to the elect. Anyway, I want to go in this video. I don't even remember what it's called. Something about uh, why African women don't date black men. Yeah, here we go. Um, this is from the da Daily, the Daily Rap Crew. Yeah. Uh, why African women don't date black men, right? And um, the first thing I would have, you know, I, I've never even asked that question, nor did I really even care. But uh, just listening to the prideness of Eve, um, I remember so many years back. This is nothing new, by the way. This was a buildup. This was happening with the, uh, the what they call the blue pill music, the simp music. Right, you can see the switch. Then, for some reason, men don't have emotions. Right, men don't have feelings, but the women, the Eves, they got the feelings, the emotions, the sadness. So what happened is, out of all that sadness, they they've made themselves strong and able to take advantage, you know, so to speak, of being weak. So the weak have become strong, right, through all the simplicities of things that have happened. Now, there's Jake here when he asked the question 
about the selective feminism, right? Because I don't know if he saw our videos. I say that all the time. And maybe some other brothers. I don't know. But I used to say that in all... Most videos I said on videos like this, that is exactly what it is. You have a situation where you have a flat tire, right? Your what? Your woman has a flat tire, a girlfriend, whatever you want to call her. She's expecting you to get out there, hit the jack, jack it up, and take off the wheel and change her tire. But you at work and she's home and you say, cook me some food, and then the feminist flags go up, right? The I am woman, I am strong, I don't need men. But yet, I want a man that can sustain me. Now, we understand that we're in a society that is uh, not set for us to be in power. In fact, that's the key. You're never going to fully, and I tell you, Jakes, you know, some of you younger brothers, you're never going to get that full respect. You might get some unless you get a blessed situation, but it's not likely. Why? Because you're not in any kind of power. It's not your money, your face they see on that money, right? It was not your face they seen when they was going to school and they, or church when they saw that white Jesus and them teachers uh, showing them Cinderella and the Barbie and Ken and all the white images. See, that... Them images have destroyed us, man. So anyway, let me get a scripture real quick. This is Deuteronomy 28 and 56. The tender and delicate woman among you, which would not have ventured to set a soul of her foot upon the ground for delicateness and tenderness, her eyes shall be evil toward her husband and uh, of her bosom and toward her son and toward her daughter. Right? Now, why would we say the daughter? Because you're going to teach them the same thing you were taught. Right. You don't need one. You don't need them. And you can do what you need to do to hell with him. And the people who are funding this society has really did a good job, bang up job, making us look like the sick character, especially you, Jake's. The only roles they give you is some criminal role in the movie. Right. Some drug dealer. Some uh, <laughs> if you're a big Jake, you're up in the prison with no shirt on doing pull-ups and push-ups, right? Or some big burly Jake. Those are the only kind of roles they really give you. So this is a psychological warfare on the weaker vessel. And the weaker vessel don't understand by the weak vessel be become strong really makes them weak, right? You become weaker by being over your lords. And who did this? Ultimately, the most high used the left hand side. But who's funding Black Lives Matter? Who's funding the Black Panthers? Right? All those black organizations, the black conscience. You don't, a lot of these Jakes don't know that these Eves have been funded with that. Believe it or not, that Ma'at, uh, what I did the research on that from the Egyptian. Uh, consciousness, black conscious, pan-African funded Eve through all these processes so then they're funded, they're coming in with the big bag and then you gotta step up and they're looking at you and saying well look at you, you ain't nobody so this is what we're dealing with and this is what you call spoiled and it's crazy let's go to Revelation 18 and 3 for all nations have drunk of the wine of the wrath of her fornication who? Babylon, a.k.a. this place. The kings of the earth have committed fornication with her. Now, you would think Africa, I know there's some great cities there, and it's not all mud people or whatever they call them, <laughs> living in the mud in the, the desert or whatever. They have actual cities. These are Israelite women, mostly from West Africa, and they've taken on the indoctrination of um the uh, um, Western culture. Now, they can't be living that great over there either. But you know what happened. They came to Western culture and they had an idea that was implanted in them on what status they should be. It's called a corruption. When you look at that movie, 
uh, the Matrix and the uh, Agent Smith, they put their hand in them and then they become corrupted. But then these Eves are doing videos on why men run down to Brazil and mess with the Brazilian woman. This is confusing. They're allowed to say they don't date black men, but when the so-called black men say, well, you know what? I don't want to date black woman. There's that selective feminism again. Then all the videos come up. The, the black man is no good. He's running off. He wants to mess with other people. But notice, they're all Israelites, right? It's okay. We can marry. But why they're not, why they're not going to so-called Mexicans, right? <laughs> or Puerto Ricans. We know, we know what it's about. It's about the greed, you know? That's all it is. You're taught that you don't have to, you know, you got to have the greed, you know? Well, how about you bust yourself down, take a lower paying job, and uh, set yourself lower so you could feel, so your man over you could feel higher or whatever. Or if you're making just as much money or more, you know, let him know, you know, let him know that you're still the leader. But our eaves, the, the eaves don't understand the oppression. They don't know who's behind the trigger. If they knew who's behind the trigger, they'd be slick and I'll slick them and, and set their men up, right? Whatever you give me, I'm going to give to you. You're my leader. Nope, not Eve. Eve will take it and run in a minute. Anyway, this word feminine, because I didn't have understood this word feminine because they go, they go into saying they, you know, call themselves feminists, but feminine means, it says here in the etymology, female sex, female, feminine qualities, effeminate, feminine. From fem feminia, woman, female. Now we know what a female is. The word female means servant, right? Or feminine male. The softer side of the man, right? It says she who suckles, right? To suck. <laughs> okay. Um, she, a woman is supposed to be like a nurturer, right? And And get fed, you know, get with you have as a man and lead but you first of all a lot of these eves have raised men to be with women that they could control that a woman can control right i've seen it i've seen it i'm not going to put my business out there but i've seen it with my own so-called kin and i you know i had to take hold of them and said nope you know, you don't know how to wash your clothes. You don't know how to open up a can of food. You can't tie a trash bag. And that's where Eve wants you, locked in. And so then when you go off out on your own, you are basically a servant to another Eve. This is how they set you up, man. This is why it's important that you have role models set up. The real role models are us, starting with the Apostles of Great Millstone. Starting with Yahweh and Yahweh Shai on down to the apostles and men that are set up and even men in other camps that are setting up as, as a, in a manly manner okay it also says feminine uh, qualities in a bad sense it says unmanly yeah <laughs> unmanly now if you look up the word makeup you can go to the um, I got so many tabs open you can look up this, look up this word makeup like with the makeup that was really used in the old days to cover up scars and shit, but it really means something that is used up, right? Not making this up. That's what it says. Effeminate, womanish, voluptuous, tender, right? Tender, womanish. So we could see that a woman and a female all mean servant, soft, tender, we can see we really don't have that. We can really see that's not here anymore. What you see is a prompt, you know, a good look, so to speak, a prompt, a doll, a dolled up statue, right? A potter's clay. <laughs> anyway, that's what you see. You're not seeing, you're not seeing the real deal of what it should be. Okay, let's go to Sirach. Uh, 26 
and 14 a solid and loving woman is a gift of the Lord and there is nothing so much worth as a mind well instructed a shamefaced and faithful woman is a double grace so any brother ha has somewhat of a woman that has somewhat of these qualities it's a it's a grace it's a beautiful thing it's a blessing a shamefaced and faithful woman is a double grace and a continent mind cannot be uh, con 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 continent mind cannot be valued so you know the, you know your sisters you're supposed to be in a mindset of trying to be you know righteous as possible as we repented you have to repent as well right and we need to do the best we need you know we can by the heavenly father and you are supposed to do the best you can by the heavenly father but by your men if you happen to have a husband and if you don't by the heavenly father and and um you know far as helping the brotherhood or whatever or let me say the body of the church okay just to get that point uh ecclesiastes uh, 25 and 21 it says stumble not at the beauty of a woman and desire her not for pleasure right now does this exactly mean that you can't have a woman for pleasure that's what a woman's for but this is talking about where you see these eve sitting there they are already in the mindset of the trap well we're going to get that too it all comes in order uh ecclesiastes 7 and 26 what solomon said i find more bitter than death the woman whose heart is snares and nets and her hands is bands how, how, how do um they do that with all the, with the look that you see here everything you see you know when you first meet one of these i'm gonna say that they're not going to show you exactly what and who they are right they're not going to show you that it's all an act it's all a game you know it's courting where the male normally courted and they, they flipped it where the eve is doing the courting right like when you look at the word court like you go in a basketball court the court house it's all a game and that's all it is it's a setup so the the little eves is taught to meet mr prince charming i remember being young and i heard the older eves tell the little eves make sure you land a doctor no no land love don't worry about love don't worry about a good uh relationship or somebody who cares about you just land a doctor well in a sense it's about being taken care of but if you understood that we're in a society that you can't do that and they're acting like they're the plentiful ones you know i mean that they're the rare ones first of all the jakes it's hard when it comes to these eves trying to get a you know a jake it's not easy for them because there's so many of them you would think they would have the problem with one another and really that's what you see every last one of them sitting up there on that podium has got their eye cut at each other looking right or who's cuter and who's prettier or who can land the right one but then they'll smile and cut your throat the you know to push hate on jake but anyway it's all psychological man it's all wickedness you know i just wanted to uh touch on that um let me get another one real quick it says a lady right what does it say for lady basically a mistress of the household wife of a lord literally one who needs bread you know one who cooks right one of a good rank in society yep under a lord so you eaves the ones that are wicked you're going to be so-called ladies real women and ladies when the kingdom come anyway that's all i have on that shalom